Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing Hyrax from Zoologist. This is a Lucky Scent exclusive fragrance and it's just been released. So I'm going to let you guys know if this is worth checking out, what I think about it, and how it smells. So if you'd like to know what I think, then keep watching. Transparency purposes, whenever Victor releases a new fragrance, even when he says it'll be out in a few months, I pester the crap out of him and beg him to purchase the scent ahead of time so that when it gets released, I can have a very in-depth review. He is very nice and patient and lets me purchase things ahead of time. So this was purchased. Hyrax was um, one of the newer fragrances from Zoologist along with Moth. As you guys know, I adore Moth. And Hyrax is no exception. If I could describe if I could describe this scent, it's a very smooth, rich, kind of sweet, whiskey, boozy scent. It is described or it is marketed as a unisex scent, but if you're one of those people where you don't like to smell like women's fragrances, I definitely think this leans more towards the masculine side. The notes in here are really impressive. I'm going to read it from the box because there's a lot. Uh, the top notes, you have blackberry, alemi, pink pepper, Turkish res, and saffron. At the heart, you have African stone, striax, whiskey, and Hyacinth. I can never say that note ever. I'm very sorry. I'm very bad at this. At the base, you have amber, benzoin, musks, patchouli, sandalwood, and tonka. The three primary notes I get in this fragrance from beginning to end are the amber, the sandalwood, and the whiskey. And I think that those notes are really what make this such a strong scent. Sometimes with boozy notes, you'll get a leather. Sometimes with boozy notes, you get a tobacco. But it's really nice to have something really sweet and resinous with this really nice whiskey note. I do find it can be a teeny bit woodsy and smoky, just a little bit, but it actually to me is a crystal clear clarity, just beautifully rich syrupy scent that has a lot going for it that without being overtly gourmand, overtly stickingly sweet, there's a lot of little nuances and depth and complexity to the scent which definitely make it shine. I love the little tartness of blackberry in the opening that's only there for the first like say 10 to 15 minutes and then you get the nice saffron and the rose and it's all there the entire time the whiskey the amber and the sandalwood and basically what that does is the opening the middle and the base you get these little sparkles these little twinges of these other notes that play on with your nose and play on your skin but you get this solid boozy scent the entire lifespan of the scent and I just think that's really incredible. Sometimes fragrances are just linear. They just smell the same beginning to end and there's nothing wrong with that. And other times fragrances tell a story and so they start off this way and then these notes go away and they open to these notes and then these notes go away and you're left with these. I love scents like that too, but I feel like Hyrax takes you on a journey where you're following a protagonist. And the protagonist is the whiskey with their sidekicks, Amber and Sandalwood. And as you, they're going on this journey with them, they're there the entire time, but you're getting to um, experience different parts of their journey. So the saffron, the rose, the blackberry, the musk, the patchouli, and things like that. And I think it's really incredible. I love the story that this tells on my skin. I think it's really fantastic. So this is a fantastic scent. I think it's really incredible. As you guys know, I am a super fan girl of Zoologist fragrances, and this is definitely one that is up there as one of the most wearable, but still like olfactively really extremely um, interesting scents that they've created. Now, I do think you can wear this just about anywhere, but it is on the heavier, sweeter side. So during the summer in the day, it might be a little bit too heavy. I might recommend it more for evenings. I think this is going to be a staple in a lot of people's collection for the fall and the winter. I think that's when this fragrance is really going to shine. However, I think that in the evenings, it's going to smell really nice. And because this is more of a boozy amber sandalwood scent, a lot of people can really appreciate and understand those notes, which is why I think this would be a very appropriate fragrance to wear um, if you're in a professional environment, like if you're going to work. Now, the longevity of this fragrance is fantastic. I get about eight to 10 hours on my skin, and you guys know I live in the tropics, so 
six to, uh, four to six is what I hope for, so fantastic longevity. The projection of this is actually really nice too. The first few hours, it's about arm's length, then it becomes at your elbows for the last few hours of wear. So it's not a crazy loud scent, which is another reason why I would recommend it for work. However, I think the best place to wear this scent would actually be if you're trying to make an impression, specifically if you're going on a date or you're meeting somebody for the first time and you really want to make a good impression with your fragrance. There's something really powerful but unassuming about this scent and I think that it's also really sexy. So I definitely would recommend this as a scent to maybe wear on a date or a fun evening out with friends or if you're making a first impression with somebody that you want to impress. As always, guys, I hope you like these videos, and I really hope that you have the opportunity to try this scent. I really love it. If you guys are fans of zoologists, specifically fragrances like civet and rhinoceros, I think you're really going to love this one. It definitely fits along the lines of those fragrances in that category. But overall, I definitely think this is a beautiful fragrance, and Victor has another hit on his hands, so congrats, Victor. And just reminding you guys, I bought this. So this is in no way a sponsored review and this was not given to me to review. But I always recommend you guys to not trust my nose, to trust your own nose. It doesn't matter what I think smells good. It matters what you guys think. Ultimately, it's your money, it's your experience. Just because I like something doesn't mean that you'll like something. So you can order samples from Lucky Scent, you can order samples from Zoologist. And if you guys have purchased anything from Lucky Scent or you wanna purchase anything from Lucky Scent, they do offer free samples samples with purchase and you can choose those samples and I do believe you can choose this fragrance to sample if you had something else from Lucky Scent you were so inclined to buy. Also reminding you guys I'm not affiliated with Lucky Scent whatsoever. It's just a site I like to frequent a lot because I really like their services and their library. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always guys, if you like my fragrance reviews and these videos, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. If you do not like these types of videos, make sure to give it a down vote. I don't mind, it's totally all right. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time.